legislators who are willing to look beyond putting a band-aid on the situation, giving you a tax cut in one hand, and forcing your local governments to raise taxes with the other hand. This is an opportunity for the governor to come out and do two things. One, say, I lower your taxes and take political credit for that, and at the same time, pass the buck on to local governments who are going to raise fees. Yes, sir. That's it. All right, great. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me. Okay. You. All right, have a great day. Bye. Right, that's it. This is CWA calling. Okay. Thank you, and you have a blessed night. President of the North Florida AFL-CIO, and I'm here to today with a, a group of other, other labor folks uh, wanting to tell union members and their families and their friends to vote no on the uh, Amendment 1. Uh, this amendment will affect the, uh, our public safety with the firefighters, the police, uh, it will affect the jobs of the uh, bus drivers and the fire and the police and other city, county and state workers. And, uh, the $240 we save and the $20 a month will, more, will be replaced by more money than for senior citizens. Uh, Jacksonville has already passed a ordinance with an uh, increase in fees for garbage, water, and stormwater drainage. So we just urge all union members out there and their families and all their friends to vote no on this. I'd like to introduce Fran Benzo. She's the uh, Vice President of the Communication Workers Local 3106. She represents the workers here at AT&T. Only the one, the union workers who are represented, it will affect everyone in the city, in the state. Um, the $20 or $30 a month you may get back, you have to see the big picture. It's going to cut jobs. When you call the emergency services 911, there'll be less people employed there. Your personal lives is going to affect as far as I am concerned. I have two children who are in the firefighters and paramedics. It's going to affect their lives. So moment one is important to vote no. Next I'd like to introduce uh, Gwen Mordecai. She's with the uh, Alcameda Transit Union Local 1197 who re represents the bus drivers here in Jacksonville. Hi, I'm Gwen Mordecai. I'm the secretary of um, Local 1197 here in Jacksonville. Not only that, that that amendment one property tax will do away with a lot of bus operators and their family hurting hard on, on this freeze that we are now facing in this coming year. So I am encouraging and talking to my members in order to, to vote no on this amendment because of what is affecting of their job and their family. Next I'd like to introduce Bunny Baker. She's representing the International Association of Machinists District Lodge 116. And uh, she is going to speak on this uh, property tax uh, grief, not relief. Here's Bunny. Hi, my name is Bunny Baker and I'm with Machinists Local 759 and District 112. And um, we're out leafleting to let our members know and hopefully the rest of the country today or the rest of the 
state to know that uh, this is going to affect us in more ways than we can even think about right now. It will affect us as far as the sidewalks, the potholes in the street, garbage fees, storm water, all kinds of things. So I'd like to introduce Minerva Fair. She's a retired member of Communication Workers of America from uh, uh, AT&T. Uh, I'd like to introduce Minerva this time. My name is Minerva Fair and I'm with CWA 3106 and the reason why I'm talking to everybody is because I have grandchildren that is already suffering because we are 48th in the nation in funding. Please vote no on Amendment 1. Especially at the bottom, we don't have anywhere to go to. You know, there's nowhere to fall from when you're at 50. You know, that means a lot, a lot of other people, you know, move up at our expense. So there's something, um, you know, the, the thing that we can do is to keep talking about this and to educate people on it because it's very misleading, very deceptive.